What's going on fellas? So today one of my really close friends, Chris Rollins, is coming into town all the way from Texas. He also has a YouTube channel and if you've been following the channel for a while, you might remember him from when we shot bow and arrows that explode. Oh my. Or when we try to do garden work with a drone. A lot of sketchy things tend to happen whenever we hang out together, but I think that's why we like hanging out with each other. He recently got a super high speed camera called the Kronos, and we're talking up to like 40,000 frames per second. What's interesting about it is that usually super slow-mo cameras are like hundreds of thousands of dollars, but this one is relatively affordable at 3,500, so still expensive, but still within the realm of accessibility. But I wanna know how good is this thing? What's the image quality like? Is it hard to use? Let's go meet up with him and check it out. So 1,000 frames per second is as fast as you can film. Well, fast yeah, in a way where- 1,000 frames per <laughs> second is as slow as you can film. <laughs> slow and fast is complicated because it's like slow motion, more slow motion, <laughs> right. or faster <laughs> frame rates. Like what? Every time I see slow-mo cameras, it's all hooked up to a bunch of different things. But this, you're saying, yeah. it's just ready to go just yep. like this. Okay, so at 1,000 frames per second, what resolution do we have? 1280 by 1,000. 1280 so a, by 1,000. A little 1, over 720. You can't just shoot everything at 40,000 frames per second, right? You select the resolution, and right. as you drop down on the resolution, you could go higher in right. speed. At the highest resolution, you're shooting a thousand frames per second, right. and then the faster you go, or the more slow motion right. you want to go, <laughs> is how I'll word it, the smaller that frame size gets. Right. So why don't we just start with a thousand frames per second. Okay. So we're gonna be at 1280 by 1024. Okay. So it's like 720p, but more on the top and bottom. Yeah, it's just a little bit square. The high speed's rolling on a four second loop. Punch it! Uh, All right, so that's an end trigger, right? So yes. as soon as the right. action happens, then you go, okay, save the then last four seconds. Okay, right, got it. We're gonna play that back. No. Whoa! <laughs> that was slow. That's a thousand frames per second? Yeah. So you're telling me that this is as close as it can get to real time on this camera. Right, yeah. <laughs> this is as least as fast that we can do. You get what we're <laughs> saying, right? Just for reference, let me show you what this slow motion looks like. That's 120 frames per second. That's as fast as this camera can go. It didn't look that impressive, did it? No, <laughs> it, it even it didn't even look slow anymore. Yeah, I know, right? Okay, so now we're gonna play with what? 4,000 frames per second? 4,436. Okay, so we've stepped it up a little bit. Let's see what this looks like. Oh my God. Look at the impact shockwave move down your wrist. That's insane how much detail you see and every little thing when you're that slow. You know by the end of this video, one of us is gonna need to get punched in the face for real. <laughs> I, no, I think you should. For sure. <laughs> I said one of us, okay? I didn't fly me right away. We're gonna crank it up now, but now we're dealing with a much smaller resolution. Right. All yeah, the way about 40,000 frames per second? We're recording on 336 by 96. You guys will see the resolution on this it's, thing's not gonna be great. What is your favorite frame rate to shoot in? Because 40,000, obviously, it's like, it's awesome that you can do yeah. it, but it's just like, the quality is just not really there. For most things, getting really good slow motion, 3,000 to 5,000, like the perfect sweet spot. Yeah, because at 5,000, you're still getting standard definition. So obviously right. not great, but yeah. it's still like viewable. Like you can still watch it and be like, that's really cool. This is yeah. the most boring is... punch I've ever seen in my life. One second of filming at this frame rate takes 27 minutes to play back. So we're over here bored. Like this impact is still happening. <laughs> this is too slow now. <laughs> I, mean, I could see how this would be really useful for like scientific research and yeah. stuff, like studying how a baseball bat bends during an impact. So even at 20,000 frames per second, you're able to see a bullet. Yeah. That's crazy. So this is half that even. Mm -hmm. Like I'm blown away at how simple this thing is. I thought this was gonna be a lot more complex. I love how it's all just like internal. Like you can just use it like a DSLR. All right, so we're headed to the 99 cent store for some inspiration. I wanna see if we can get like some kind of confetti poppers. Good stuff. Oh, that's oh. so much more satisfying in super slow motion. We're gonna have a karate competition here and see if we can punch through the watermelon. Ah! I'm using this C stand. Sure. Oh man, that's gonna be good. Look at my face. Oh, you're like, <laughs> oh, Ooh. yes. Now I'm hungry. That looks awesome. Wow, I can't believe how slow so this is. Exploding. 
All right, so a while ago I got this thing called the pocket shot and it's like a little slingshot where you can take like a little metal ball, put it in here and it's apparently super strong. So I got my pocket shot here and a soda. Let's give this a shot. You bounced it off the table. Oh, I did? <laughs> what? You were two feet away. <laughs> Here, we got we it got more soda. Good. My wife's gonna embrace her inner country girl. Woo! Nice shot. How did that feel? Yeah. <laughs> oh, she hit the table too. You see how it ripped open? Like Dang. the sides split. We also got some of the silly string. <laughs> Steve's gonna try shooting this. Is this safe to shoot that? I don't think it's safe. Let's do it. Yeah. Come at me, bro. Like how it just says, party. Man, 10,000 frames per second is insanely slow. It's taking us forever to search through this four second clip. I like how this stuff on the outside almost pauses. Like while new material gets shut out, it's like this stuff just hangs. When he shot it, he immediately jumped back. <laughs> times it spun around, his hand's still there. <laughs> Ever want to feel bad about your reflexes? <laughs> All right, so we got ourselves a giant water balloon. I think we should throw it in somebody's face. Who wants to volunteer? One, two, three, shoot. One, two, three, shoot. One, two, three, shoot. <laughs> We just drawed three times in a row. One, one two, two, three, shoot. shoot. I'm safe. Now it's you two. Okay, one, one, two, three, shoot. Hoo-hoo! <laughs> <laughs> like Fight Club. You hit me in the ear! <laughs> There goes my brain cells. <laughs> Have you done this before? Yeah. So how big does this explosion get? I, it'll probably be like this, like a nice little, a nice little contained fireball. We're having Carrie do the most dangerous one. <laughs> 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 Like, that was cool. <laughs> <laughs> Lefty, was that cool? She's like, bro, that was sick. Well, that was freaking awesome. But anyways, that's all we got for slow motion stuff here. But you guys got to go check out Chris's channel where yes. he's got tons of slow mo stuff. Basically attached a rocket launcher onto a drone. <laughs> it was pretty sick. Click. <laughs> where am I? Click here. It's right here. It's over here. Yeah. Oh, wait, right? No. Click. Right. No, it's over yeah, here. It's on the right. No, it's this way. 
Are you putting? Yeah, no, it's right here. Are you putting a link? Are yeah, putting... so give him some ideas on what you guys want to see in slow mo. I've got some pretty explosive stuff coming up. Explosive stuff. stuff. Yeah, <laughs> I don't want to say it. I don't want to say it. <laughs> okay. Is, but... He's over in Texas, so everything he does there is just like bigger. So that was like <laughs> probably the capacity of the explosions that you'll see here in Los Angeles. Out in Texas, it's gonna be a little bit bigger than that. <laughs> All right, let's go read some comments. For Thirty-five hundred bucks. It's actually. I'm kind of tempted to get one. I'm not gonna do it though. I have way too much crap. If anything, I need to get rid of more stuff. Speaking of giving away stuff, congrats to Mark Guerin. Is that how you say your name? Uh, sorry if I butchered that, but this is coming out your way to Denton, Texas. Also the winner of the Sennheiser G-Force Lavalier setup. Victor Heron, again, sorry if I butchered that pronunciation, but over in Poland. So a set of Sennheisers coming out your way. All right, let's read some comments from my last video, which was kind of about the importance of prepping your gear before shoot and how to check to make sure you have everything. Top comment was from Freedom Hustler. I would have thought the least exciting part of being a filmmaker is doing your taxes. That, that's actually pretty true also. <laughs> actually, what day is today? March 27th. So I actually don't have that much time left to do my taxes. I better get on it. Melvin says, I traveled from New Jersey to Florida with my first DSLR at time of family pictures. No SD card. I mean, that's one of the reasons why I felt like I needed to make that video because it's just so easy to pick up a camera like this and not even think about the SD card. It sounds simple like, oh, I would never make a stupid mistake like that until you do and you're like, oh my God, I'm an idiot. I once went on a boat ride and as soon as I got on the boat, I was like, no SD card. Oh, this really sucks. The habit that I have for like super quick shoots is I pick up my camera and every time I pick it up, I'll just turn it on and hit record for one second. It's just like a dummy take that I'm gonna delete later. But as long as I see that, I know that at least the battery is okay and there's a card in there. Adrian says, haha, bro, I saw you on your one wheeler by the end of the LA marathon yesterday and yelled potato jet. <laughs> I definitely heard a couple different people yell at potato jet. So maybe you're one of those guys. I'm definitely gonna try to run that LA marathon next year though. If anyone else is doing it, then come join me. Mr. Techie asks, bro, what software do you use to edit your videos on Adobe Premiere? Just because that's what I'm very comfortable with. A lot of people are interested in DaVinci Resolve because that's a free software and it's very advanced. You can do a lot of stuff with it. I know Final Cut 10 is also a popular one, which I tried for a little bit, didn't like it just because it was so foreign from any other software I've used in the past. It could be an option for you, but right now I use Premiere and I'm super happy with it. I love it. Sean says, this totally reminds me of Dumb and Dumber's hot pepper scene. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I'm crying like a little bitch. Yeah, that was absolutely terrible. Don't buy this, but use my affiliate link. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty accurate of what you can expect out of this channel, like this pocket shot. I mean, this thing will totally take somebody's eye out as well as probably just go through their entire head. So don't buy it. This is really dangerous, but affiliate link down below if you're interested. <laughs> oh god, I have no morals.